Um, another sterling uh, picture frame. 50 cents, man. People uh, miss these. So sterling right there. Um, this was just in the box of photo frames, you know? It's just like, dig through those little boxes of uh, photos because you never know when there's a sterling picture frame in them. I think I've I've bought like... 15 sterling picture frames and almost all of them were just in the box with pictures like other junk silver plated ones so sometimes you find a sterling one every once in a while um just for like two or three dollars i picked this piece up um it's kind of interesting these are called a uh, funny folder knife this is a fob knife and so it swings out and then locks in place like this you know i can lock it all the way down but it's gets kind of stuck but it's got no name on it kind of interesting on the inside of here it's actually a, a ruler it's like a brass ruler that someone took and bent someone probably made this in shop class or whatever but um, some of these are really rare and collectible if you find one by like a name brand person but they're just called funny folders so I thought it was cool so I picked it up I don't have any I'm gonna keep this Alright, here's some more stuff. This video is getting way, way longer than I wanted it to be, but I've got so much stuff to show you, so it's probably going to be two parts. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves so far. Here is a brass um, compact, really old one. This is like 1800s. Um, let's see if I can open it. I thought maybe it could be silver, but it's just, it looks like it was probably silver plated at one time, and the silver plate's um, completely worn off. But the detail in that engraving is real real nice, so pick that up for a few dollars. And this cameo old piece, um, you can tell it's old because it's got the seed pearl and the enameling. Um, pr probably gold filled or something like that. Another gold filled piece there that's marked gold filled. Um, let's see, this piece which has this earring stuck to it. Sterling, this is a Mark Sterling little uh, pin or something. A um, pair of silver earrings, Mark Sterling, cool design. Little bits and bobs here and there, Sterling, little um, pin, gold filled pin, one tenth, ten karat gold filled pin, Sterling. Other pearl bracelet, um, brass bar pin from the 30s, um, another sterling enamel pin, um, possibly sterling or brass old thimble, sterling pin, sterling silver earring, gold filled pin, um, Cool little uh, Neil Armstrong metal. Uh, could be silver, probably silver plate. It's not Mark Sterling or anything like that. I'm, I'll probably test it or just look it up and see. But cool little metal. And a hand painted little portrait. Really like this piece. It's definitely old. Painting is well done. Um, it looks like it maybe has a gold filled or brass border and then you can see where the it was a, once a pin or a pendant or combo um, it does say it's got numbers right here it says 31 or 51 something like that porcelain pretty old people collect these I got that piece so pens lots of pens I always am picking up pens also some other junk I picked up Another manual wine watch, probably, you know, 90% chance I paid five bucks for this. Could have been less. Um, pick those up all the time for lots. Um, just a dollar, I picked up a, you know, nice little chunk of turquoise. Why not for a dollar? A Camillus knife, little folder, the celluloid handle, three bucks. Um, now the pens. So I paid... 
uh, a bunch of money for these pens. Um, I ended up paying $225 for all the pens I bought. Um, this is not all of them. I sold one more large pen. It's probably the most expensive. That pen sold for $100. Um, I was hoping it would bring more, but eh, I think I paid like 60 for it, so I got 100 so It's not a bad deal at all. So uh, other than these two, like this one I bought recently, $15. This one is a uh, Gold Bond ring top pen. So you look for these ring top or flat top with the ring pens that's like from the 40s. And it's got the lever fill, which is another indication that it's old. Um, it's got somebody's name on it right here, so that's going to hurt the... Uh, value but it does have a 14 karat gold nib um, for 15 bucks no problem it's probably a 30 dollar pen um, picked up this Schaefer gold filled 600 um, pencil uh, this was only four bucks um, again it's got a monogram on there hurts the value but uh, still pretty cool here is a Pen version of that pinstripe design lever fill, um, two tone nib on this one, so not super expensive, but um, not that cheap either. A little bit of wear to the clip there. Pick that one up. Uh, this one, let's see, like, see, I paid seven bucks. Um, I don't know what kind. Of, this is a Weaver pen or pencil, something like that. Um, pretty old. Um, this one is, again, lever-filled, ring-top, uh, gold-filled. Um, this one is a wall, ever-sharp, I believe. Or, uh, no, what is it? Ten-point. Wall, ten-point pen, gold-filled. This one's probably worth um, 60 to $75, hopefully. I think I paid like 40 something like that. Uh, gold filled. This is the wall ever sharp pen pencil, I think. Um, cool little gold filled pencil. These are actually really cheap. I thought this would be worth more. It's only worth like 15 bucks. Um, another, what is this? Another Weaver? Yeah, another Weaver. So here is another Weaver uh, lever fill red fountain pen. Um, all this filming is starting to overheat my camera. It's going to be like 45 minutes of footage and it's going to take me at least a full day just to edit these clips together. So if you like in this video so far and you liked the video um, that came before this, please leave me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, so on with this pen. It is, again, I believe it's a 14 karat nib. Um, Cool vintage pen again, 30s, 40s, old. Um, this one, Weaver, not very expensive. Um, but this one, even though it's small, is a ring top and it's got the two bands, which, um, you know, usually it'll do like a single band, a two band, and maybe a three band one, and that kind of tells you the level of, of quality it is. But it's small. Um, but the color of this one, this is an old celluloid. Um, this is a Carter's. Uh, INX ring top pen. Um, you don't see this uh, this turquoise color um, come up for sale very often. So I'm hopeful for this one. Um, again, I think it's got a 14 karat gold nib. Uh, I'm hopeful that this one will bring a little bit more money than some of the other ones. Um, this one and the wall gold fill, they're probably the best. Um, the Schaefer's are not bad. Um, the green one's pretty cool and then this little pen. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get the rest of what I spent back on on these pens and then a little bit more. Uh, so there's those pens. Alright so I'm going to do the gold first then I'm going to do all the big silver I found. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way, do the silver and then I'm done. So I got this pair of earrings, 14 karat gold um, back post and uh, butterfly it's probably ivory um, 
it looks like it, but it could be a fake ivory, but um, it says made in Hong Kong, so I don't know if it's even real ivory. It could be just fake stuff, but gold nonetheless. Um, a bunch of these little uh, service pins, 10 karat, TRW, 10 karat. Um, this one's my favorite. This is a, let's see, Hughes Aircraft Company, five years service pin, 10 karat gold. Should be able to get a little bit more than scrap for the uh, Hughes Aircraft. That's a pretty famous uh, engineering and aircraft company. And another TRW, Space Technology Laboratories. Another one, maybe we'll get more for these because they're kind of cool companies. Um, some small, very small, 14 karat gold ball earrings. Paid five bucks for those. A little bit of gold. Uh, so this cameo is really nice. Uh, it is marked on the clasp right there. It's kind of rubbed. So it's either 10 karat or 18 karat. It looks like 10 karat to me just by eyeballing it. But uh, the mark is rubbed so you can only see the top half of the 1 and the top half of the 0. Um, so it could be 18 but you can see, see how see through that is. Pretty cool little cameo. It's probably still a 2 part cameo instead of a shell cameo. It might be a shell cameo. It's kind of hard to tell. But that's gold and I only paid a few dollars for that, maybe five bucks at most. Weighs about four and a half grams. Pretty cool there. Um, the, all the little service pins together weigh eight grams. And uh, the last couple pieces, so I got these. Now, these look like real stones. So when I'm looking at this with a loop, what I'm looking for is little identifiers, like little um, black spots, little like almost slivers of, of white hair that looks like, uh, you know, crystal structure. That's what you're looking for in a real stone. Um, the one thing I did notice was the cut of these is, is fairly poor. Um, you would have more facets in a smaller window. Anytime you see a stone with a big flat top to it, big flat window, um, those are usually lower quality because you don't get as much sparkle out of that cut. That's what they, you know, that's one of the four C's. It's like something with good cut is worth more than something, you know, that's poorly cut. So these don't look very well cut. And they also look uh, a little too even in color. So... You know, I think they could be emerald. Uh, I really do think they probably are emerald. But they have likely been heat treated. This, this is what you call like a color enhanced or a heat treated type of stone. Because the color is just too green and too even. You want to see something that's a little light green, a little dark green, a little bit yellow. You know, it's going to be like a little different when it's a natural 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 color stone um, so they usually heat treat these it doesn't mean it's not a real stone it still has value but um, definitely not a hundred percent natural these are marked on the side on the edge of this crown and I can't really tell what it says uh, I haven't even tested these I don't even know if they're gold or not or what but they're definitely real stones um, so those are kind of interesting um, and then I got this piece, which is 14 karat. Now, I am going to have it looked at either way. Um, anytime you see a stone of this size uh, and you, you don't know if it's real or not, just have, you take it to a jeweler or tell them, hey, is this a diamond? Uh, they'll look at it for you and tell you yes or no. Um, but same thing with this one. So for a diamond, you want to take a loop to it look inside the diamond, look inside the side of the diamond, look inside the top of the diamond. You're looking for identifiers that are going to tell you that it's real. Um, now when I look at this, 
from the side and look at it with a loop and look from it from the top and everything it looks perfectly clear and that's not what you want to see uh, for a diamond so I am like 99% confident that this is CZ and not real um, simply because when you look inside of a real diamond you'll see little little crystalline little you know weird reflections on the inside little feathers little um, black spots I would be much happier to see this if it was gray or yellow or like you know kind of gross looking or it was uh, you know not a perfectly clear giant stone that's just 99% of the time a perfectly clear giant stone is fake um, because if this is real like you know there's still potential I mean it could be a very 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 clear big diamond uh, it is set in 14 karat gold it does have hallmarks you know it does have a nice setting that's very thick a uh, piece of gold but uh, this would be like a five thousand dollar diamond potentially if it was uh, real VVS one carat you know whatever it could be a couple thousand dollar stone um, which I am very 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 confident that it's not um, but that's just kind of how you guys can tell when you're out there looking in the field uh, if you have a real diamond or not is you really just look inside the side of it um, it's easier if you clean it and then look at it and if it's just perfectly clear perfectly white perfectly you know sparkly and, and everything everyone gets dis distracted by the sparkles like oh well it's so sparkly it must be a diamond like look at how it sparkles well you know any CZ or any kind of moissanite or anything like that's gonna sparkle just like a diamond um, not just like but very similar so don't get distracted by the shiny just look inside of the stone if it's completely crystal clear then it's probably not a diamond because the diamond has flaws a natural diamond should be flawed so there you are there's my lesson on that today and silver yay uh, I found a bunch of uh, silver uh, different dishes and spoons and stuff here um, hopefully this will be my little thumbnail picture you'll see uh, some good deals on some silver really good deals um, I, I guess I'll start uh, with this giant ladle check this thing out very cool uh, 60 bucks um, and it's marked I'll show you the mark oh this thing's big Okay, maybe you can see some of it. Get it closer. So right here, it's kind of hard to see. It says 925 right there, Sterling right there, PG, it says Mexico. Like, it's kind of hard to get a picture of it. Maybe you can see it better. There we go, a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I, anyway, I weighed this and it weighs, uh, 9.3 ounces. So this is a whopper of a sterling silver ladle. Um, so I got that for 60 bucks. I mean, it's at least 120 something in scrap. Um, but these sell for pretty good money. Um, I'll probably be able to get like uh 150 to 200 maybe more maybe less um but for 60 bucks i knew that was a great deal i just picked it up and go whoa that's super heavy 60 dollars for something that's really heavy that's sterling usually a good bet to buy that so i picked that up um six dollars this uh little dish here um it is marked somewhere i don't remember where i saw the mark um, I can't find it. This is Mark 800. It's got a very small 800 mark somewhere that I can't find right now. Um, the people were, they just missed these. So I bought a bunch of this 800 stuff and they were just like, okay, and started looking at everything I was buying. They're like, why are you buying all this stuff? Started seeing some of the silver marks. And then, so I bought this stuff and went to come back to buy some more. And they were just like, oh no, none of the, none of the silver's for sale. No, we're not selling any more of it. Oh, it's all. It's all real, so we're not going to sell it. Blah, 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 blah. Anything I touched, they were inspecting the fine-tooth comb. 
uh, yada yada, whatever it happens. It's like it's not my fault that this is priced at six bucks. It's, you're the one who did it, not me. Um, so same thing here, eight dollars, very heavy. Um, let's see, I can show you the marks on this one right here, eight hundred, eight hundred. Cool um, design there. Nice silver dish. Um, this helmet um, is not marked, but it looks like silver. It might be, it might not be. Either way, still pretty cool. Little thing there. Um, and then I got, or I got two of these things. Sorry. I, got, I have two of these. Um, these are both 800 silver as well. They are these like little uh, oil lamps with the tools. Very cool, very old. Um, these are both marked somewhere, 800. And this one's a small one, marked 800. They both have little um, cool little finial tops to them. So those were like, I don't know, four bucks a piece or something. Very cheap. Oh, there's the, here I see the mark. Just so you can get a look at it right there, 800. And then the last one, like before they started getting real crazy on me, um, was this one, 15 bucks. Um, this one is also marked somewhere. Right there, 800. Beautiful design. Very heavy. So I weighed all of that stuff together, and that was another like a uh, pound of silver or something, or yeah, around a pound. So including the um, ladle, it was like one pound nine ounces or something. Uh, I don't know. I did the I ran the numbers on it. It was like 750 grams total for 800 and then another 150 something sterling uh, or more than that. I don't know. I ran the math. It's like 400 bucks ish in silver. I uh, might get more for certain pieces like this bowl definitely. Uh, maybe this dish, the ladle, maybe more of those. Um, things more of this thing probably not um, but yeah so that is all the silver and all the other stuff and that concludes the video please leave a comment leave a thumbs up like this video um, share this with all your friends and family uh, thank you guys for watching